Hi, my name is Paul Offit. I'm talking to you today from the Vaccine Education Center at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. It's Wednesday, March 6th, 2024. Now, in the last few days, the CDC made a different recommendation for people who are greater than or equal to 65 years of age. They argued that some may reasonably choose to get two doses of COVID vaccines during a single year. So what was the thinking here? You should know that there are really two ways in which you protect yourself from COVID. One is having antibodies, which are directed against the virus, that protect you against mild disease, but usually not for long. Even if you've recently been vaccinated or naturally infected, about three to six months later, your antibody response will decline. So protection against mild disease for this kind of virus never lasts very long. But protection against severe disease isn't just mediated by antibodies. It's mediated by memory cells, immunological memory cells, like memory B cells that make antibodies or memory T cells that can be activated to kill virus infected cells. Unlike antibodies, memory cells can be long lived, which is why most people, most healthy young people who've had, say, three doses of the vaccine or two doses of the vaccine in a natural infection are probably protected against severe disease for a long time, for years, and we'll see how long as, as time goes on. But some people aren't. And if you look at who's getting hospitalized these days, that falls into four groups, people who are elderly, people who have chronic medical conditions like chronic liver or lung or heart or kidney disease, people who are pregnant and people who are immune compromised. So they appear to most likely benefit from getting a booster dose, presumably because they either never made a very good memory immune response to begin with or their memory response faded. So I think what's incumbent upon the CDC now is to take a look at, at people in those groups to, to, to to pair with academic immunologists, say at the National Institutes of Health, to look at their memory cells, to try and answer the group the question, which groups have these, these short-lived or poorly formed memory cells? Because then and only then can you tell really who most benefits from booster dosing, or in the case of some people, who may benefit from two booster doses. I think right now what you can reasonably say is if you are in a very high risk group, you say, have chronic lung disease or heart disease and obesity and diabetes, you know, a, a number of sort of health problems that put you at highest risk of COVID, it's probably reasonable to get two vaccines during the year separated by at least four months. Uh, but we're still really waiting on data, more data, which is why the CDC gave this a soft recommendation, meaning that you should consider this in discussion with your doctor, but it's not a full recommendation. Hope that helps. Thank you.